friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to be here with you again today to share with you another recipe. I hope you guys enjoy this video. This is going to be another star solution recipe. As you know, this is what I'm doing lately and I am so enjoying it and I hope you guys are too. I'm gonna be sharing with you recipes, tips and tricks on how you too can stay on this lifestyle. The recipes that I'll be sharing with you are going to be for the most part not complicated you know and because this is what I like I like things not to be so complicated I just want to pretty much like with the rice just put it in the crock pot the beans put it in the crock pot and just set it and go and then when it's ready it's ready and I make sure that I make enough for the whole week now I'm almost going to be 55 years old and I do not take any kind of medications. I don't have any kind of health problems. Of course, I do have some weight to lose, which I've already, this past year, been working, this year actually, been working on that, and I've already lost over 60 pounds, and I still have some more to go, but I'm getting there slowly but surely. I mean, I love, I love doing it because I don't have to count calories like I did when I was on a raw vegan diet. Um, because a lot of people I know like to say you can eat all you want and not gain weight. Well, that is not true, but you know, that's for another video. Anyway, I'm almost going to be 55 years old and I feel great. I have tons of energy and you know, if you want to also feel great and not have to depend on medications, have tons of energy, then you know, I'm going to be here for you. I'm going to be sharing with you recipes and I'm going to be sharing with you the tips and tricks on how you too can succeed on this lifestyle. I strongly believe that what you eat affects how you feel, how you think, and just pretty much your health. Okay, so for the rice, I'm going to be using my crock pot to make the rice. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to be adding three cups of rice. And this is white rice. You can use any rice you want. And then to that, I like to add water. And I add, since I added three cups of rice, um, so I'm gonna be adding four and a half cups of water to the crock pot. And then there's a setting here that's for rice. I'm just gonna push that rice and I'm going to let it um, cook. And that's it for the rice. Here we have everything that we need to put into the broccoli cheese casserole. So what it is, here I have the rice, and this is about five to six cups of rice. Then here I have the steamed broccoli. And here I have some freshly made, which I made today, the um, cheese. This is the vegan cheese. If you don't have, I will put a link below of the video that I made for this cheese sauce if you want to make this. And then last but not least, I have these crumbs that you can buy at your local grocery store. They're just bread crumbs that we're gonna put on top of the casserole. Okay, so again, like I said, I have about five to six cups of um, white rice here and there it was steamed and then let me see how much of the broccoli we have Sorry. here one cup two cups three cups about three and a half to four cups of the steamed broccoli and let's see 
for the cheese sauce. That's three cups of the cheese sauce. Let me see how that works out. And while I'm doing this, which is going to be mixing all of this together, um, I am preheating the oven, oven to about 420 degrees or Fahrenheit. And then I'm going to stir all of this together. spread it out all evenly on there and then I like to fill it up to the rim pretty much to the top I do like to be generous with the breadcrumbs on there. You know, you can put as little or as less that you want. And that is it. Go ahead and put this in the oven. Okay, so it is ready. Here it is. Mm. You guys are going to love this. I hope you guys have a great one and I hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you make it, don't forget to tag me. You can also tag me on Instagram at Wanda Flower. So I hope you guys enjoy this recipe and don't forget to like and comment and I will and I will keep sharing these recipes with you. I hope you guys enjoy.